1513 Fair Warning is back with Elliot C. Hall and Joe Evans talking about the woman discredited, Dr. Emanuel. Houston doctor advocating the hydrochloroquine cocktail. The show now emanating from the great Rayos at Calder and 10th Street. Oh my God, try the pizza and the wraps for lunch. Uh, I know very little about her, and what we have learned about her has become more and more startling as each piece of information comes along. I mean, I, I have no problem at all. Uh, I'd like to know where her degree is from. Just curious. I haven't heard that yet. I'm just saying that some of the things that have come out that have been attributed to her are so wacky that it makes someone take a, 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 a double take. If someone is suggesting that demon sperm is affecting people, I'm not sure I trust their take well, on how medicines affect people. But we do no longer cure people through prayers. We, we cure people through science. And uh, we are no longer bleeding people get out the bad humors. Like I, need my, I, need, I need prayer with my healing. And, and I, I'm not sure where in the Bible it says we should abandon uh, new modern knowledge in, in favor of old modern knowledge. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't so say that. It I, I think about that. the Bible a lot when we're talking about Trump and the Republicans because, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think about Isaiah 520 where it says, Woe to those who, who call bad things good and good things bad. You mean like and, abortion? Like abortion? No, I'm talking like, uh, well, that's not what I said, but I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, uh, but no, said. but I'm saying is we're not... Um, it, does it make sense to raise this doctor up any more than it makes sense to vilify her without vetting her first? See, when black people support the president or when black people get supported by the president, it seems to be this real strange, you know, kind of vibe out uh, there that uh, well, you know, if I you're can... black, you may be an Uncle Tom or a sellout. And, and the president's only doing that to pacify people or to... Uh, you know, put on the show. It's a lot of black kids that are born to two parent families that are successful. So the formula is this, not race, but can mom and dad marry and stay together through thick and thin to death do them part for the sake of the children and be healthy and raise a family and have a solid nuclear family. And yeah, go to church on Sundays. Yeah, put a little money in the offering plate. It's okay, yeah, it's okay to do that. I think you we know? should accept this doctor and what she's saying based on faith alone, this is even a, a little spookier See, than... saying alone. You discredit her based on... No, what? I'm not discrediting you, her you at all. I don't, I don't know. Faith. I'm not discrediting her. I'm just I'm just mystified by the things she said, and I'd be interested in hearing more about her credentials. That's Taking not, my hand. That's disrespectful. That's well, how they did. They made fun of uh, Herman Cain yesterday. You know, I, they, I didn't see uh, anyone Obama, online Obama, making Obama. fun of Herman Cain. Oh, I did all day long. And then I, I seen people on... Uh, I seen Obama over there at uh, Congressman Lewis's funeral stumping for uh oh biden you know you know the, the number one white racist in the world right now and we know and we know this i was thinking about the jeffco group locally here on southeast texas there's a politically active group and i saw a lot of outpouring of sympathy for mr kane no one wants to see somebody suffer and die and it's a terrible disease uh however there are photos of him at the tulsa rally sitting in close without social distancing without a mask and unfortunately he became ill after that and died and I'm not saying that he was only exposed to that because he was following Trump, but I am saying that perhaps he would have lived longer if he'd paid oh, attention to social... No, no, no one knows. No one There's knows. No but, um, you know, it's like saying we should drive our cars without seatbelts because there's no telling if we're going to die or not in a wreck. We wear our seatbelts. We should wear our masks. We should practice the social distancing. He failed to do that at the height of an, so uh, pandemic, and, fault, no, and I'm, we should blame him for I feel so because, sad. you know, we're... He, he, like all of us, every day the information changes. We'll never know how he was exposed, but we definitely know he wasn't taking the steps that have been recommended to keep yourself safe.